so we have on our hands uh, in this video a recent moon and as well rising a uh, weekly love and relationship tarot reading January 13th to uh, January 19th 2020 and um, if you guys want to get in touch with me for a personal reading you can uh, check out the description down below of this video and there you're gonna find a, a link to uh, my website so that set aside, moving into the uh, Aries reading here for the week in terms of love and relationship, the uh, first card, which is going to uh, represent the topic of uh, that week in terms of love and relationship, is going to be the Four of Pentacles, followed by the second one, which stands as the energy is feeding up the topic itself. That will be the Nine of Wands. Followed uh, by the third one here, which uh, stands for the obstacles and challenges that one needs to overcome throughout the week. That will be the four of swords. <clears throat> then it is the nine of pentacles, which represents the gifts and the blessings for you, Aries, for throughout the week in terms of love and relationship. Followed by how other people are going to see you and what kind of impression you are going to leave in their minds and in their view as well, that will be the Temperance card. The sixth card here uh, stands as what is going to help your long-term love and relationship goal. And uh, as I am looking here as the uh, string of cards, it looks like this is going to be a very important aspect of the week, and that will be the Queen of Swords. Followed by the next one, which is what is going to um, hurt or deprive your long-term love and relationship goal. We do have the Seven of Wands. And the last one, uh, which is the guidance that uh, Taro is offering here for you, Aries. Uh, we have the Sun. So, um, all in all, that will be quite a very productive, productive one for what it seems here with the cards. And let's go through the first couple of cards which are going to show us what this week is going to be all about in terms of um, a love and relationship. So uh, these two, uh, they speak for striving for perfection in terms of one relationship or in terms of one uh, interactions, if you will. It doesn't matter what kind of a stage those interactions or relationship is going to be, still one is going to stray for perfection and is going to stray for the better. That is due to the energies here of the Nine of Wands, which are the energies of the conscious changes that one incorporates into one's environment so can make one environment more comfortable, more bearable, or more of someone else's likings. That being said, you know, you can take certain actions or measures to be liked more by your person of interest or by your beloved one, if you will, or to make, in generally, you know, the environment into your relationship or into your interaction more comfortable for both of you as well, which from its own standpoint here with the Four of Pentacles is going to start consolidating you know, the interaction or the relationship. So in other words, it's going to start making it more and more secure, more and more um, bulletproof. I don't know how to say it, but let's say it that way. The more you strive to make things more comfortable, the more longevity you are buying for the future, for your interaction, future relationship, current relationship, marriage, and so on and so forth. Now, another thing with those two cards as well, it is that you will need to identify certain threats, threats, okay, that may loom over your current relationship, over your marriage, or over your interaction, that is, for example, a, a competitor that wants to be with the same person, with the same person you want to be with, as someone that wants to break your marriage or someone that wants to be with you and wants to break your marriage or your relationship for that reason, identify those threats and simultaneously, and as you identify them, excuse me, you're going to be a couple of steps ahead, so you will be able to negate them. So from another standpoint, 
um, you will need to as well adopt certain defensive measures in regards to your current relationship or in regards to your current interaction. But the whole week, 13th to 19th, it is where you establish a, a secure future for you and for your beloved one in case you do have one. So the next one, uh, it is what is going to be the uh, challenge from your behalf here. And we do have a couple of them with the Four of Swords. Now, the first challenge, it is a calm approach into the matters in general. So it's, it's kind of like uh, sharing everything that goes on into your mind with the person you want to be with or you are with. Okay, it's kind of like sharing your concerns, sharing your wishes, uh, talking with them openly in generally. And also the card itself, it kind of like points that is going to be challenging for you to feel comfortable. And that's why you will need to make all those conscious changes in order to make yourself comfortable throughout the week. But another thing with the Four of Swords here, it is that, uh, well, couple more things actually appear right now into my mind in regards to challenges. Now, one of them is going to be um, in terms of uh, thinking that the threats that you may foresee and that you have overcome throughout this week based on your advance or your advantageous position, that they are going to be done for good. What I mean is that they are not going to reappear further into the future. Some of them may, so you will have to stay on your guard, okay? And uh, the other thing is that you have to identify if you do need a, a foreign help, especially for those who are in a deep and profound relationship and things aren't going very well. Uh, this card into a challenging position, it may mean that you both are, as a challenging position, I mean that you are stubborn to seek a professional help like from a couple's therapist which is exactly what the Queen of Swords plays us as the what is going to help to further your long-term love and relationship goal in that specific case. So we do have there a woman that helps you to understand why this, what you have, is substantial for you in one, in one or another way. Now, the other card here, it is the gifts and the blessings that uh, you can enjoy throughout the week in terms of love and relationship. And that will be the uh, Nine of Pentacles. So Nine of Pentacles is generally a very cheerful card when it comes to, uh, to relationship and love, and especially when it comes to a uh, blessings and gifts. Uh, pretty much, especially for those which are single, it gifts them the opportunity to jump into a... Um, uh, future development and endeavor, which means that should you be single and be open to start dating, for example, there is no doubt with this card in that fourth position that you can definitely do it, uh, that you can definitely find a suitable match, let's say, that you can start dating. Now, is this going to be something that it will be prolonged and will kind of actually have roots? Well, that remains to be seen, but at least you're going to have your options available. Now, looking at the first two cards and, and uh, kind of like relating them to this one for those which are single, well, then that would mean at least to me that um, once you find out the suitable match for you to date with, it will be important that, uh, how can I say it? Uh, it's not like finding a, a common ground, but more like not allowing that person to change your life, all right, or to change your environment. Well, simultaneously, you do not change theirs, and still you do find a mutual ground to step on and move on forward into the future. So it's very, very important that you both are not in a conflict of interests. But above everything else, the Nine of Pentacles here as gifts and blessings in generally gives you or gifts you with a, a development into this front, love and relationship one way or the other. And very promising with the first two cards. cards. It does look like that is going to, if you kind of be able to catch the momentum of it, it will be a long lasting one. Now, how people are going to see you and what kind of an impression you're going to leave into people that are interacting with you, either romantically or uh, in the friendship intentions and so on and so forth, that is to be uh, the temperance. 
So a few things here. First of all, people are going to see you as someone who is not afraid to tackle with chores and to tackle with, I would say, responsibilities. Uh, well, basically, it's not a, uh, you. Are, they're going to have an impression that you are not a person who um, tries to escape a, a certain you know, uncomfortable situation, which many people are doing, you know, instead of confronting the the issue, we prefer to text about it, to text, excuse me, about it. For example, another way how people are going to see you here, Aries, is a, um, a person who is not unreasonable. Therefore, this is a quite of a, a good week to find, um, not to find, but to try to find a way how you can make peace with those kind of, especially if, if it is a person of interest or a, a lover, uh, with a, a alienated opinions. It's just like you do have one opinion, he or she has another opinion, and therefore there could be found a, um, a, a something that unites both of those opinions. For in between you two, it is because they are going to see you open for a compromise. Additionally to that, people are going to see you as a person of solidarity and generosity. Uh, but generosity, what I mean, it is the generous in compassion. It's like you know, that you feel for other people's misery, for example, happiness, or in generally you are putting yourself into their shoes. But above everything else, this card here for you, Aries, it does describe that people are going to see you, that you are not willing to walk away in the minus phase of, um, of difficulty. Therefore, people will see you ready to try or to fight for it, if you will. So that leads us to the next one here, which stands as a what is going to help your long term goal uh, in term of love and relationship. And we do have a, a person, queen of swords. Now, this could be your therapist, just like I said, with the four of swords, right? That if you are seeking a, a professional help, but also it could be a person who had been in your situation back in the days. I mean, it's kind of like it's a deja vu for them and they have that enormous experience that you don't in, in this endeavor or in this situation, either into your marriage, into your interaction or the fact that you are single and you can't find a, a, a suitable match. And therefore, this person will advise you how to overcome your predicament at that point in term of love and relationship and basically produce results. It is because the Queen of Swords is capable to push the things through and therefore is going to help you with advice based on her own experience back from the days how to push your things through. Now, are you going to listen to that advice? Are you going to act upon it? Well, that depends entirely on you. But in reality here, according to this reading, you're going to have the recipe for your love and relationship success. Are you going to concoct it? Well, once again, it's all up to you. So the other card here, it is um, what is going to hurt your long term uh, goal, love and relationship goal. And we do have the seven of, uh, so, uh, of wands, excuse me. So that, that falls into a correlation with um, what card it was. Oh yeah, the, uh, the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands, which I said that there could be a, an, an exterior influence here that someone may like you, someone may like your, um, your partner. That's for example. And uh, one of the ways here of how your situation could be hurt it is if you neglect those signs, okay, that you pretend or kind of like you adopt the standpoint that either the villain is no match for you or that the villain does not exist. And therefore, at the end of the day, you're going to be just left as a victim of the circumstances that, for example, your partner leaves you for somebody else or your person of interest choose someone else over you. So whatever, you know, how can I say it? Um, whatever Manis is looming over your current situation. You have to address it immediately. And the other thing that is going to hurt your situation love-wise, it is if you are making excuses. That it is never your fault. Whatever happens, it is never your fault. It is someone else's fault. And uh, once again, you have to draw from that Queen of Swords experience 
which it is far bigger than your experience and which means that you know you are not going to do everything correct and that's completely fine uh, but you have to simultaneously you know recognize what you're not doing right and um, take advantage of the advice that that woman gives you so it's kind of like no, don't make your don't think that you're always um, writing your statements and into your actions sometimes you know without you know, unintentionally we hurt people and if you do so once you understand it recognize it it's going to serve you a great deal of benefits moving forward into the future and finally we do have uh, the uh, just one second guys to um, regain control over my camera once again all right so the last card here that we have it is the guidance that Tara is offering to you Aries we do have the Sun card so there is only one thing that we can say about this card into that situation it is not about your happiness it is about the happiness of the other okay it is about the happiness of your beloved one it is about the happiness of your person of interest or it is about the happiness of your future person of interest and I will tell you what I mean if the person you are with if uh, sorry if you making happy the person you are with does not make you happy then there is no reason to be with that person so by making someone else happy you should make yourself happy just for the of the fact that that person is happy and if that is not in place throughout this week, especially for those who are single and they're searching for a suitable party, then that would mean that this is not your guy or this is not your woman. Or if that's not the case with your marriage, for example, then you definitely need to change something in it. It doesn't mean that you have to break it, right? But definitely you both need to do something about it. And that's why we do have these energies in that situation of a conscious changes that needs to take place so that being said there is this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading hopefully guys you liked it and once again if you uh, want to get in touch with me for a personal reading uh, you can check the description down below and there you are going to find a, a link to my website and uh, from which you can schedule reading so hopefully we're going to see each other around until then bye